black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 centimeters of snow. Imagine 20 meters of snow. Last night, he's out on the job. Uh, well, no, he's not out on the job. He's now finished the job. And uh, that's worked up a hunger. And I can't get team burgers off the mine right now. So we're going in. A team burger it is, maybe a poutine. We'll see. Hello, uh, can I have a team burger combo with a uh, poutine? And what's the drink? Uh, I'll do root beer. And then I will, I was looking at this Nashville chicken thing, but that's like a full burger, right? Not, not something small. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll do, yeah, that'll be it. Thank you. Okay, that's 1760. Cheers. They had this Nashville chicken thing. I thought it was going to be like a bite sized little appetizer type thing, like a snack size, but it's not full burger, $8.99 for that burger. This meal, 17 dollars for a teen burger and poutine i knew i shouldn't come here today like i shouldn't spend this money but not that i shouldn't spend the money that's fine i just made money working that's fine but like more just the idea that i can't justify a burger combo for almost 18 dollars it's just so insane but that's that's a and w and whatever i'm treating myself <laughs> for just banging out these jobs Another 20 centimeters of snow on the 1st of March. It's these things, they happen. It just, where I live, it's constantly, it's like, they call it in like a lion, out like a lamb, or in like a lamb, out like a lion. It's like a winter term here, but it just means basically how your season's gonna go, El Nino or El Nino. There you go. Cheers, thank you. But yeah, it's like, it's always a tease here. It's like, oh, spring is coming, spring is coming. And then we get, boom, you get smacked with a blizzard. You go work and then for the next bunch of days it's like oh then it's gonna start melting and then you'll just get smacked in april and then you know you don't start smelling the dog poo melting until about june so you know that's what happens when you live in the uh in the arctic tundra the arctic tundra at tundra bay <laughs> but we're parking all right satchel is secure and i just realized i didn't ask for ketchup so and i always defile my poutine with ketchup but <laughs> we have one in the uh the glove compartment stash spot right do we all have that in our vehicles the glove compartment stash spot i think we do where you you get some food and then you kind of just put away the extras so we have a sparing one ketchup oh man i'm not looping around i am not looping around they also gave me this wooden fork i'm gonna actually what's the integrity like i just i think I'm gonna go for the plastic. I have a backup plastic in my uh, in my backup jar, and by that I mean the glove box, the set, the stash spot where you put the extras. But let's bring you down in for a real thing, Cam. So I want to say it again: the construction on an A and W burger always nice, crispy bacon, tomato, lettuce. You got your mustard, ketchup, that onion hiding under there, those rings, nice little pickle. So she is nice. And then we gotta get it while it's hot. This poutine, those proper curds. That gravy for this winter day. Only like minus six or so right now. So that's good, sunny. And we spare the dabs of our one packet ketchup packet. Okay, if you could talk. All right, first things always first, gotta get the poutine while it's steaming, fresh and hot. I do have the window open, I don't know why. So maybe for extra cinematic effect, should we do a slow-mo on the steam? possibly but maybe i will do this window up actually this doesn't make sense i'm not thinking here <sighs> he's fresh off a of coffee with an espresso shot so you know what i mean but there's almost nothing better than a hot steamy poutine ah really hot on a winter's day after you just grind it out some jobs that physical activity
burnt your calories and made some cash. I gotta say, the snow blowing game when it's happening, the getting's pretty good. And I don't even charge as insane crazy as some dudes. But to work from two to five, and a bunch of that is. Some of that is drive time and bang out these jobs. I make 300 in three hours. Can't complain, 100 bucks an hour basically. That was across one, two, five, six. <clears throat> Six jobs. I wish I could do it every day. On a day like today. Some days it's absolutely treacherous. But today, beautiful. Throw a podcast in. And I just, I just look at it as like getting paid to exercise, essentially. And there's something so satisfying. about the hunger you get and the calories you immediately <laughs> get back eating this <laughs> after. No, there's something super satisfying about um, like the jobs themselves when you show up and it just looks like shit. And you take it from shit to like clean lines, stairs nice, pathways nice, back nice, driveways. That's everything nice. All polished up. There's just a sense of like, I don't know. I just love the aesthetic of it. It's like, that's kind of how my brain works. Like when I make food, I like it to look nice. It's like when I do this, these jobs, I like them to look nice. It's like manicuring your yard. You know, this teen burger kind of sliding and slopping, but that gives it a, you got this extra, <laughs> extra leaf hang today, which is interesting. So maybe we'll be a rabbit. Chop that off first. The one thing, too, that's interesting, interesting about a and which I don't know if I love it. It works. I'd like to try an a and burger, a team burger. Their mayo is like a miracle whip. So it's got a little zip to it, right? Where mayo is more fatty. I think I would prefer to have a mayo, like a real, like a Burger King mayo on this burger. But you gotta say, always a really good looking burger, right? A banquet burger, basically. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Seems we're napkinless too. Napkin was Jack. Wow. It is such a good burger, but 
still I can't get with the price of the meal. That's why it's definitely a treat yourself kind of thing. So being that I just made a little chunk of change, I'll drop it. Super, super good. But, uh, <laughs> I might look a little ring around the rosy. I am flushed. I overdress for the day. You know, you get all sweaty in the winter too. And then that's like where pneumonia, right? Or hypothermia and shit starts to set in because you sweat. And then you have that hot thing, like that thing on. I don't want to take my hat off though, because you take it off, you steam out, and then you have this cold, sweaty lid, and you got to put it back on. And you just feel like a soggy, wet diaper on your head. It's very unchill. <laughs> Extremely unchill. And don't worry, <laughs> ever since I was a kid in soccer, anything, motocross, I always got turbo red in the face. Such a tomato. And so sweaty. Always the guy subbing in off the to the bench to, to switch shifts and just jersey just soaked. I keep reaching for the lid of the poutine from my peripheral. I'm used to seeing the brown, like a brown napkin. I keep reaching for this cold, gravy, sweaty <laughs> lid. Nasty. And now I'm left with no way to deal with this. Spoke too soon, remembered I had shop towels. in my true glove box. I don't know what to call this cons this mid compartment in a truck. The fold down thing comes in handy though, the best. I also realized part way through ordering there where I was like gonna get an extra little side item. I was like, nah, keep it light, have a, this one. And then in a bit, I think I'm gonna do, I think I might make some wings actually tonight, just a nice pound, maybe two. I might, I'd probably film it to get two vids done in one day because it's only yeah it's only five o'clock this will sit pretty light team burgers don't hit that heavy the poutine is pretty heavy but a couple hours might have some wings too fresh and crispies from the air fryer y'all know what it is all right well i'm on route to go collect an outstanding bit of money because janet wasn't home i did her job but she's like come by later and I'll get you squared away. So, so we'll go have a chat with Janet and see what her day was all about. Thanks for joining in on that. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.